Hey folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over one worked example to show you how to do problems involving torque and angular acceleration. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. In our one and only question it says a homemade gyroscope consists of a narrow ring supported by spokes about an axle. The axle and spokes have negligible mass compared to the narrow ring. So that means we can just ignore the mass of this axle and the spokes. So part A says the gyroscope has a mass of 1.5 kilograms and a radius of 0.30 meters. Calculate its moment of inertia of it is given by the formula I equals mr squared. Now luckily we're given the formula here, but common sense would tell us that we've got a narrow ring, so we would use the expression for the moment of inertia of a ring, which is I equals mr squared. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the moment of inertia of the ring. The mass is 1.5 kilograms, and the distance from the axis of rotation of the ring, which is going to be the centre where it rotates around, is 0.30 metres. That's the same as the radius of the ring. So writing down our equation, we have I equals mr squared, and substituting in the numbers, we have 1.5 times 0.30 squared, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 0.14 kilogram metre squared. Part B says the gyroscope can be made to rotate by wrapping a thin cord around its axle and pulling. The axle has a radius of 4.0 millimetres and the cord is 0.50 metres long and pulled with a steady force of 25 newtons. The frictional torque acting on the cord is 0.070 newton metres. Part 1 says calculate the resultant torque acting on the gyroscope. Well, resultant torque is just another way of saying unbalanced torque, so we first need to find the torque T and then subtract the frictional torque from it to find the unbalanced torque. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the torque T. We know that the force is 25 newtons and the radius of the axle is 4.0 millimetres. Now we need to convert that into metres first, so we get 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. And then using our equation for torque, we have T equals FR, and substituting in the numbers, we get 25 times 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 0.1 newton metres. Now we've got our torque, and from the question, our frictional torque is 0.070 newton metres, so we can use these two values to find the unbalanced torque. Torque. So the unbalanced torque, which I've called TUN, is equal to T, which we've just calculated, minus the frictional torque, which equals 0.1 minus the 0.070, which gives an answer of 0.03 newton meters. Lastly, part 2 says to calculate the angular acceleration of the gyroscope. So here we're going to need to use the relationship between angular acceleration, torque and moment of inertia. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the angular acceleration alpha. We know the unbalanced torque is 0.03 newton meters. So I've neglected the UN part of the unbalanced torque, but you can write that in if you want, if it's going to keep you right. And from part A, we calculated the moment of inertia to be 0.14 kilogram meters squared. So writing down our relationship between T, I and alpha, we have T equals I alpha, and rearranging for alpha, we get alpha equals T over I. So substituting in the numbers now, we have 0.03 divided by 0.14, which gives a final answer of 0.2 radians per second squared. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.